I can't believe my eyes! Wait till I tell the others! <gasps> hey, you won't believe it! I just saw a white bear! You saw a polar bear? A polar bear? Yes, well, maybe. I mean, I don't know. But I definitely saw a white bear by the river. Take a look! I don't see anything. Me either. Let's go up top. There's a better view. Okay, let's go see Chester's white bear. Chester, are you sure you saw a polar bear? I never said I saw a polar bear. I saw a white bear. But I thought polar bears are the only white bears. Lucky! Whoa! Told you. What's a polar bear doing around here? I'm not sure that's a polar bear. Polar bears live way up in the Arctic, where there's always snow and ice. Not around here. Also, polar bears are really, really big. They're the biggest bears on Earth. Baby? I guess it could be a baby polar bear, Nash. But it doesn't look right. Let's find some polar bear pictures so we can compare. Here's a polar bear. Uh, they're really different. The polar bear has a long pointed snout, and the white bear's is much shorter and squarer. Plus, the white bear has a big round forehead, and the polar bear doesn't. That white bear is not a polar bear. So what is it? Actually, it looks like this bear. The black bear. Yeah, that's a white bear. Black bear? Mind low. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it says here that black bears come in different colors. They can be brown or gray or white. The white ones are called Kermode bears. Native Americans call them spirit bears. Why? There's a legend. A long time ago, it was winter all the time, which was hard for the people who lived here. But then it got warmer, and when the other seasons came, spring, summer, and fall, life was much better. Native Americans believed the spirit bear was created to remind people of how hard life was back when it was always snowy and cold. What a great story. What an amazing creature. A white black bear. Mind blown. <laughs> Look at that. This must be where the ants live. When ants work and live together, it's called a colony. I wonder what kind of ants these are. Oh, look it up. Looks like they're leaf cutter ants. There are leaf cutter ants all over the rainforest. So they cut up leaves and bring them back to the colony to eat? Actually, no. They chew up the leaves and... They're turning them into goo. So they eat the goo? This is the amazing part. Another living thing called fungus grows its spores on the goo as it decays. The ants eat the fungus that grows from the spores. Unbelievable. They cut up the leaves to feed the fungus and then they eat the fungus. These ants are fungus farmers. Wow, there are so many of them. It says there can be eight million ants in a colony. That's a lot of leaves to cut, goo to chew, and fungus to farm to feed everybody. They must have to be really well organized to get everything done. <gasps> Organization. That's what we need to get all our stuff back into the polo mobile. We just have to act like the ants. Okay. Remember, everybody pick up the first thing they see, bring it back to the polo mobile, and put it away. Then go back out and pick up another thing and bring it back and put it away. Just like the ants. Just like the ants. Let's go! Ah! Ah! Oh! 
for you to lift, Nash. We little ants. Big. Ants can carry 50 times their weight. That's like you carrying 50 Nashes. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We'll help, too. <laughs> yeah, and here we go. <laughs> now we just have to get it inside. Actually, I've got a better idea. How about lunch? Oh, yes. hungry. We carried it so we get to eat it. Yum, yum. But we don't have to turn it into goo first. I'm just glad it's not fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Fishies, not froggies. When these tadpoles get older, they're going to become froggies. Some animals, like frogs, have bodies that change from one form to another as they grow. That's called metamorphosis. Mother frogs lay eggs. When the eggs hatch, tadpoles come out. Tadpoles are baby frogs. Mm. The tadpoles have long tails and live and breathe underwater, just like fish do. Uh-huh, fishies. Yeah, but watch this. As the tadpoles get older, their bodies change. Legs. Right. First, they grow their back legs and then their front legs. And they don't have to stay underwater all the time. They can come out on land. As they change, their tails get shorter and shorter until they look like that. Frogs are so cool! Yeah! Hmm. Hmm. Well, lion? Oh. Well, tail? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, up! Yeah! Moko, lucky! Nas glows. Cool. And glows. And glows up! But Nash... That's not how you're growing. No, Woggies. No! Only some animals like frogs change form as they grow, but you won't. You'll stay the same as you grow. Just like these animals. You'll just get bigger. No wings. No wings, but a much bigger you. Uh, just Nash? Yeah, always Nash, but bigger. Okay. <laughs> I like it. It would be nice to turn into a lion. Or to grow a tail. Or wings. Now that is cool. But Nash is going to stay Nash. And that's great. He's just going to get bigger. Yeah. Big Nash. See? Whoa. Whoa. It's a really big Nash. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect place. Let's dig. Uh, 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 very, very gently. Cover up the roots so it has a chance to grow. Oh. <gasps> yep, that tree is a goner. But maybe we can replace it with a tree that's just like it. How would we do that? There's probably another tree like the sapling growing here somewhere. And maybe it would have seeds. So we could plant those. Yay! Which tree is it? So many trees. Trees of the same species have the same kind of leaves. So if we could find a tree with the same leaf, it would be the same kind of tree. It's sort of long with some squiggly edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight tips on each leaf. And there's a line down the middle that ends in the stem. I think I found it. It looks like it's an oak leaf. 
So we're looking for an oak tree. Polos, let's go on a tree hunt. Yeah! Yay! The leaf is just as long, but doesn't have squiggly edges. This has the edges, but fewer tips. Got it! It's got the same edges, the same number of tips, and the same line down the middle. Uh, it's littler. That's because this is a big tree and our sapling is a young tree. That's the one. Now all we have to do is find a seed. Acorns? Are those the seeds? Right. Oak trees grow from acorns. Look! Wow! Sweet! Poor little sapling. Let's try to plant it again. Good Let's idea! Try it. Huh. Yeah! Arm in arm and hand in hand, everyone across the land. If you want to grow a tree, just plant a seed. Watch it grow, watch it grow, change the world when you sow seeds of love and hope. Watch it grow. See the earth bright and green, bright the air fresh and clean. Feel the love and hope. Watch it grow. toolbox and take the whole seat apart. Willow, that sounds serious. Too serious. I think we all need a break. Let's go outside. Good idea, Marco. Come on, everybody. Ah, it's so beautiful here. And so calm. And so peaceful. Waddle, waddle. Ah! It's just like the rattle in the polo mobile. Only worse, what's making that noise? Hey, you guys, look up. It's a woodpecker. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Hmm. I think its feet really help it hang on to the tree. Yeah. Two of its toes face forward and two face back. So it can stay balanced while it pecks and climb the tree. I wonder how many times a woodpecker pecks wood. We could count. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says here that a woodpecker pecks 20 times in a second. I'll time us. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Time's up. Wow, we can't count nearly as fast as a woodpecker pecks. So why is it pecking? Is it eating the bark on the tree? Or is it digging for something in the tree? Hey, look! Whoa! It's got a beak full of bugs. That must be what it eats. Insects that live under the bark in trees. Yeah, but how do they get them out? Let's see. Well, what do you know? A woodpecker's tongue is long and sticky, so it can reach deep into trees and pull out insects. I'm having an engineering moment. Polos, back to the polo mobile. <laughs> Dickie! So you've made a woodpecker tongue? Right. I'm gonna fish out whatever's making the rattle the same way woodpeckers get bugs out of trees with something long and sticky. Uh, I think I got it! My maraca! I was looking for that! Thanks, Willow. Is that it? No more rattle? Only one way to find out. Yeah! Yeah! It says here that kangaroos and wallabies are related. Kind of like cousins. They're both herbivores. They eat plants. Right. And they both carry their babies in pouches. So they're marsupials. But wallabies are much smaller. 
And they're totally not what we thought they were. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Aww. Nash, what's this? Uh, not hat. No, it's not. Hmm. Maybe it's a fan. Look! A koala! Wow! That must be a eucalyptus tree. Eucalyptus is really hard to digest. And for many animals, it's poisonous to eat. Koalas are one of the few animals that can eat its leaves. Look at this! That koala has a pouch with a joey. If it's got a pouch and a joey, it's a marsupial. Like kangaroos and wallabies. You know that koala looks just like my teddy bear. But koalas aren't bears. They're a completely different animal. Whoa, another Australian marsupial that's not what we thought. Hey, what is that? You know, I'm not really sure. But it's not a fan. Hmm, maybe you play catch with it. This looks like a good place for a picnic. I've got everything we need right here. Whoa! Check this out! Is that a mouse? And is it eating a flower? We've got to look it up. It's called a honey possum. It only eats the nectar and pollen from flowers. It's got a long tongue that fits deep into the flowers to get the nectar. Like a hummingbird. And guess what? Honey possums are totally marsupials. There are over 200 different kinds of marsupials in Australia. This one looks like a bear. But it eats grass like a cow. It's a wombat. Look at those teeth! That's a Tasmanian devil. They're meat eaters. And take a look at this one. It's a tree kangaroo. A kangaroo that lives in trees? Amazing! What are you guys doing? We're trying to play catch with this thing. But it's really not working very well. I thought it might be a fan. Do you know what it is? Yep. It's not a hat, Nash. It's a jar opener. Pickles, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Just another thing in Australia that is not what we thought. <laughs>